Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Dotarian Baseball back in Minecraft. So we just built a new bedroom facing towards the sun. And now the question is, what am I going to do? Let's see. How are we doing on the supplies front? That sound is awfully loud. Hang on a second. Okay. Um let's see. Actually running low on wood, but it's still okay. I also need some more diamonds. Well, that is another thing that needs fixing. Let's put that gravel in here. I don't need these flints or gunpowder. Put that away as well. And the dirt. Okay. Well, I guess it's high time we went ahead and did some more digging. I'm good on shovels, weapons, all that jizz is with me. Just save the world, okay? If you press the escape button to toggle the menu, you just end up saving the world. We went into that hole a few days past. Let's go down there. Did I actually place no torches over here? That's a little bit creepy. Oh well. Let's just fly down there. Yay! And here we go. Okay, much better. Okay, let's see. What the heck? Okay. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but hey, who am I to judge that? Okay, there's nothing. Just need to find my way in these tunnels. I have been tunneling like a madman. Like a big ass badger. Did I just dig a straight tunnel? Seems I did. Oh no, I did some branch mining actually. Okay, great. <laughs> there you go, TDP has no clue what he's been doing. Uh, two, three, it would be here. Well, I'm gonna do some digging because I need some more stones for my next project, and I see iron. So what did I want to do as an next project here? I mean, I want to make that dome a little bit more beautiful on the outside. That means I'm gonna place the torches on the right hand side because I'm digging that way. I'm gonna go ahead and cook up a lot of stones to um, allow me to build these uh, 4x4 stone blocks. There you can see the new mining speed of redstone which I really like because uh, let's face it the old mining speed for redstone was annoying to say the least. So I realize Digging tunnels might not be your favorite pastime, but it's actually one of mine. I like digging tunnels, it's just like you're on a you're on a permanent treasure hunt, you never know what you're gonna find. I mean, it's Minecraft, you can end up in a sea of lava, you could break through into a mineshaft or into a set of um, abandoned mines. You could find obsidian, you could find diamond, you can find almost anything and everything, and that is so cool about Minecraft. Ah, more redstone, and this time you can easily harvest it. This is this is this is like one of the best changes ever. Mining redstone was always a pain in the ass, not so much anymore. I just took some time off mining diamond, by the way. Um, mining diamond now takes about 10 seconds, as opposed to the 15 seconds or more that you took mining diamond with your diamond pick, or trying to break through obsidian with oh. Obsidian, of course, not diamond. Or um, if you ever tried breaking obsidian with your hand, um, oh. what the? Oh, oh, I remember that place. That is where I did that 180 turn. Exactly. Okay. Did I ever go in that direction? I don't think so. Is there anything important over there? I don't know. Um, how much dirt do I have? Not too much. Let's try and find out, shall we? Can I build something here? Yes, I can. Okay, so let's go from like that. Just trying to build my way. Okay. Eh. Actually, there is not much to see over there, except more lava. But at least I have a source of lava at that direction, which is also good. So, that was not very, very productive right here. Let's go three more blocks. And start digging in the other way. One, two, three. And here we go. Let's go back. 
maybe make a tunnel in the, in the opposite direction. I mean, now I've I know that we found that cave system here, so there's not going to be much else over here. But that means finding something cool in the other direction is definitely a possibility. Also, when you're digging these tunnels, always keep your ears open for strange and terrifying sounds like monsters lurking in some tunnels. That is also a good indicator that there might be, well, an abandoned mine near or anything else of particular importance or interest. So, that torch is on the wrong side. Damn it. Here we go. And my tool is about to break. There is a creepy cave sound. That is for the big cave behind us, by the way. Also, some 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 time I heard that that creepy cave sound only comes when you're near a monster spawner, but never been able to confirm that one. So maybe you guys can shed some light on that. Also, I'm kind of antsy to go into the Nether Realm and see if we can find a stronghold, build up some stuff, and wow. Whew. That pickaxe breaking sound was scaring the heck out of me right now. What the hell? <sighs> Whew. Well, at least we found some gold. Whew. Oh my god, I found some gold. I'm scared to death. No. And some redstone. Well, we could try and make some redstone circuits. That would be interesting. There we go. Got all that redstone and mining back my way again. <sighs> Digging tunnels. One of my favorite pastimes, but I need more diamonds. I only have enough diamonds for that stupid little um, pickaxe, but I don't have enough diamonds to arm myself or defend myself. And that is a state that I won't, don't want to live in. That is a state that leaves me nervous. I'm not protected well from the elements and monsters. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I said, I'm just going into a laughing flash. What the heck? I mean, seriously, just dig in there one block and you find diamond? Let's see how many diamonds we find here. Okay, that's a one by one. That might be more around here. Yep. That's a four diamond block. Let's see if there is any more. Nope. Oh, yeah. Right. That's a four, bi four diamond block in that normal formation. And that just goes to show you, here is the, here, if you dig in here, or even if you, if you dug in here, let's say you dug in here, one tunnel, you wouldn't actually see these diamonds, but then you do the next tunnel, which would be one, two, three right here, you would find them. Or even here you would find them. So there you see why there is a 3 by 3 technique for branch mining. Just want to clear up these diamonds to see if there's anything dangerous in the vicinity. I don't want to get burned when I harvest my diamonds. Or even worse, have my diamonds burned. That would be unwise. Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3. More diamonds for the TTB. Achievement. Achievement get diamonds. Okay, well great. I like diamonds So we found four more diamonds that gives us the ability to build a diamond sword Now I'm feeling a lot better <laughs> Well, and I found more gold As I said, this is basically a non-stop treasure hunt from your children days something funny crazy that you just do and enjoy and I'm serious, if you're talking to people, if you're chatting with people, um, well not, maybe not chatting, but Skyping with people, you can always go ahead and play a little Minecraft, whatever, just go ahead and dig a few tunnels. It's It, it works. Uh, it's basically, as long as you don't find a dungeon or something like that, you're basically just running on your own. You don't have to think much, just dig a hole. <sighs> okay, we found diamond, now I'm a very, very happy man. As I said, I want to go ahead and build up that, um, build up the dome with more stuff, with more cool outer linings, with um, very fine stone lining, more glass. I need to build a way through the roof 
make that shine all the way to the bottom. Build an enchanting table and some enchanting materials. Um, maybe build a farm somewhere to um, farm cool stuff like wheat and pumpkins. I've never had a pumpkin farm before. I just realized there is so much new stuff in Minecraft that I haven't tried out yet. Because I just didn't have the time. That is a very sad thing. Well, well, what can you do? That is, uh, that's the way the world works. Probably should make these like a, like a podcast. <laughs> you just don't, you don't really have to watch the video at some point and just listen to me talking. Oh, there's more coal. Uh, you can never pass up the coal. Some people will say, just forget the coal, but there is these hardcore fans that go like, Hey, in episode 57, you missed one patch of coal on the left-hand side as you were running away from the creeper with one health or so. <laughs> on the one hand, it's unnerving. On the other hand, it's it's pretty pretty cool, cute that people actually watch your videos that um, with, with, with a very open eye um, looking for anything that you oversaw or anything that you missed. Ah. Oh yeah, and I need to go ahead and make a new update of the world file so we can download it. <laughs> okay, this time I didn't didn't jump as much as the uh, pickaxe broke, so that's something. Ah. So how far do I dig with that? I mean, I could possibly dig for a very, very long time and just see where we end up. I mean, you can pull in these tunnels forever and just find nothing or you can just mine one block and BAM. But I think I'm gonna mine until this axe breaks. Or I'm, until I run out of torches, whatever comes first. Um, I'd say the torches. This is scary that they introduce that low lighting um, in these big caves. When you go to, let's say, lower places. Why is the frame rate stuttering right now? That means two things, either a new patch of the world just goes rendered, or something else. Something entirely different. But the fact that I'm not hearing any monsters suggests that there is nothing near. But I have been wrong in the past. Like, oh, this looks like a perfectly safe place. Spider jumping down on me, eating my face. Well, more redstone. Even more redstone, and some iron. Hey. I'll take that iron. Redstone, iron and gold that allows me to build more cool stuff like railways. Okay, let's add a torch in here so no bad guys spawn. Fill that up again and keep going. Hey, got some dirt. Oops. That was the wrong tool for the wrong job. So I'm just looking down at my Skype right now and I see, okay, well, Let's see, what time is it? It's Sunday evening, half past six, and I've got ten messages waiting for me. <laughs> it's like, no, well, everyone else, weekends, uh, midnight, whatever, they stop working, they just, they're just not reachable. Uh, but for some reason, people always think that they can reach TTB around the clock, like, uh, I don't know, what am I? Fucking answering machine? <laughs> ah. Of course, it's good that people uh, actually want to talk to me, which is cool. Ah, so the axe is halfway down, and we've got a lot of stones, as it seems. That's good, that will allow me to continue my building plans. Crazy plans for building stuff. And actually, I think the dome is actually um, one of the most original things I've ever built. We've had all kinds of crazy structures, like castles and mountain homes. Um, hunting lodges, but I mean the dome, that is an entirely different thing. Question is of course, can I come up with a cool way to build a farm in that dome or will I have to source that thing out like a like a platform of, of sorts? That might actually be really cool. A floating platform for farming. The more I think of it, the more I like it. Floating platform for farming. Lots of F's in that. Like, <laughs> more coal. Well, actually, that is a lot of coal. And I will take it, because I want it, and I need more coal to fuel my fires. Of course, I know I could just put in some lava. But the problem with lava is you can't make it an infinite spring, so that's a little bit... 
Unnerving. I don't want to carry around all that lava all the time. So I'll just go with coal, because I can make coal, I can, can easily find coal, and if I don't find coal, I can make uh, charcoal out of wood, and wood is one of the only things that is infinite in Minecraft. Just plant a few seeds, make a new tree, and keep going from there. Oh, by the way, I mean, um, guys, you are welcome to come up with ideas of what I could build for this particular world. Sure. If I see something that's really cool, um, then I'm gonna do it. I mean, just like the uh, series I did on TGN Central, where we, uh, that we being the fans and <laughs> most of the fans coming up with the idea of building an underwater home, and it turned out to be quite cool, but I got carried away a little bit with that one, so yeah. I'll need to revisit that series soon. So, that's done. I'm through all my tools, and I'm gonna head up now, and we can start building a few diamond items so see you guys soon thanks for a little bit up that was a borked transition transition or video ender so let's try it again see you guys soon thanks for watching and bye bye